Hey everyone, this is David with Benchmark. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up an S320 base with an S321 rover using Carlson Service E5. Pretty easy. First thing you want to do is go Equip GPS Base. And that's going to bring you to this menu here. Now we're setting up an S320 base, so using this drop down menu, we're just going to pick S320. Then we're going to hop over to the Comms tab and choose our S320 from this drop down right here. Now if you haven't paired with your S320 before, you can use this wrench button on the side to set up a new pairing. So I'm just going to click this cable with a receiver button up top, and it's going to make sure it has a connection with the instrument. Then I'm just going to go into the receiver tab. The antenna height is measured from the inside of the tabs on the bumper of the S320 to the ground. You can hook your tape right in the tabs and measure down. I'm just going to put mine at 1.5. Uh, your antenna type should be the HEM S320. Now we're going to hop over to the RTK tab. We're going to be using the internal NL400 radio, so that's the one you want to select. And we're going to be broadcasting in ROCKS because ROCKS helps the S320 to S321 connection. I'm just going to click this wrench button right on the side to check my radio settings and frequency. Alright, so I'm going to leave the power at 1 watt. That's the most power the radios can use and I'm going to be using this frequency 447 megahertz. Uh, the radio mode should be in PC1 and that's the easiest one to connect between the two receivers. Then I'm just going to click the green check mark up top to program those settings into the radio and I'm going to click the green check mark again up top to start configuring the base. Now it asks me how I want to get the base position. I'm at a new position and I'm just going to read from GPS, but I can also enter my lat and long and work and enter grid system coordinates. If I'm on a known point, I can also use that. So I'm just going to read from GPS and I'm just going to take 10 shots. So what this does is it'll tell the receiver to take 10 shots and then average those 10 shots to get the final base position. Once this is done, it's going to ask me if I want to use a broadcast ID. You can use this if you're in a busy area with lots of people running on the same frequency. Um, but I'm not in a busy area, so I'm not going to use one. So I'm just going to continue with my base setup. And then I'm going to save those settings to a file. Because if I ever come back, then I can just load up the file and have the base ready to go. So the next step is to set up our S321 rover. So I'm just going to click on GPS rover here, and that'll bring us to this tab. We're using S321, so I'm just going to grab that from this drop down menu here. And I'm going to go to the comms tab. Now, again, I'm going to use this drop down menu right here to select my S321. If you haven't set it up before, you can use this wrench button on the side to create a new connection with a new receiver. So now I'm just going to click this cable and receiver button up top to connect to the instrument via Bluetooth. That's just going to set up the connection and make sure it's strong. And then I'm going to go to the receiver tab. Now on the S321, the antenna mm -hmm. height is measured from the base of the receiver to the ground as opposed to a tab. So that's what you're going to do. I'm just going to leave mine at 1.5 again, and your antenna type should be the HEM S321 this time. Now I'm going to go to the RTK tab, make sure I have internal UHF selected, and use any base ID because I'm not in a busy area. Again, I'm going to click this wrench button on the side to configure the radio settings. Alright, so here we want everything to be the same as it was on the S320. So as you can see, we're using a PC1 protocol. Our channel is 447. And if you wanted to use a different yes. channel that wasn't on this list right here, you could enter it in right here, and it would save that to the list. I'm just going to hit this green check mark to program those settings into the radio. And then once that's done, I'm going to click this green check mark again to set up the rover. Alright, now that the rover is set up, 
we can go to the survey tab and store point to check on the status of the receiver. As you can see, we're already fixed and our residuals are 5 millimeters horizontal and 7 millimeters vertical. So, if you have any questions or you want to see the S321 in action, give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit our webpage at www.bench-mark.ca. That's all for today. Have a good day.